Welcome back to the Hawkeye Garage. I am Joe. Today we are going to be doing some headlight upgrades on the Lexus GX470, courtesy of Bosla Headlight Bulbs. They uh, went ahead and sent me this package. We got some low beam bulbs that we are going to put in the GX and we are going to see how they perform. Stay tuned. So I really wasn't looking to do any upgrades to the headlights on these. They're pretty good. They're uh, projector headlights and they work just fine. This company, Bosla, that I um, have seen their social media, uh, contacted me through email and said, hey, we like your stuff. Can we send you some headlight bulbs? Would you mind testing them out? Make a video about it. Sure. So I got this in the mail the other day. I haven't opened it. It is still completely sealed. So we are going to do that on camera and take a look and we're going to pop them in. We're going to do a couple side by side comparisons at night. We'll see how well that comes out uh, on the video. And uh, we'll kind of just talk about how they seem as far as build quality. And of course, as I continue to use them, I'll continue to update you guys on how they're doing. Pretty nice packaging on the outside. The branded bubble wrap is pretty cool. Um, box is pretty pretty good looking and uh, let's see I don't know anything about these bulbs um, because like I said I really wasn't looking for any and since they sent them to me I'll go ahead and test them out um, uh, they are looks like they have some mechanical fans in them I am not a huge fan of that uh, because on other brands that I've run the little fan causes interference in the stereo. I'm not saying that these will, but of course it's one of the things that we're gonna test out and I will report back to you guys on. But packaging is cool. Um, really nice looking bulbs. Let's go ahead and plug one in. We're gonna actually, I'm gonna do the passenger side first for a few days so that I can run OE halogen ones um, with this side by side. Probably irritate some people coming uh, oncoming traffic, sorry about that. But that's what we're gonna do, so I can test them out, take some pictures, and see how these uh, stack up. Just a few quick little things that I've noticed uh, so far. If you didn't know, LED headlight bulbs, or, or any LED bulb, are pole specific. That means the positive and negative uh, wires have to be on the correct ones, uh, normally on a 12 volt system. With a normal light bulb, it doesn't really matter. They're interchangeable. You can send power negative to either one. Um, so if you plug in uh, an LED bulb and it doesn't work, unplug it and flip the plug around. Uh, on these, I have noticed uh, it's going to be really hard for you guys to tell no matter what I do. But there's little retaining fingers on both sides, which is actually better than I've seen on some other ones because if you have to um, flip that plug around and re-plug it back into your socket, and it just happens to be that that finger's not on the right side, um, it's not gonna snap in to the retaining part of your, your harness. Changing the headlight bulbs, at least the uh, low beams on the 470 is pretty simple. You will have to remove the battery on the driver's side, unfortunately, but the, uh, the low beam is on the outside, so we're just gonna reach in here and unplug the harness from the bulb, twist the bulb, and pull it out. Um, these are halogen. And because I have projectors, I am fine running LED headlights. I've run LED headlights in non-projector housings before. There's all kinds of controversy about that. Um, I never had any problems with it. All I can say is once you do it, re-aim your headlights and make sure that they're not too high blinding oncoming traffic because of course LED ones are brighter. Uh, I will re-aim these headlights if I need to because of the projectors. Uh, after I have both headlights in. That's my two cents. So let's get it put back in here all the way and get it plugged in and see how they look. Just like that, the headlights are on and so that I can see when I have this side plugged in the correct direction. And there we go. Uh, you can tell, well I can tell anyway. You probably can't tell from here. You'll be able to see later when I go do some nighttime testing. It's definitely a more brilliant white. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any blue tint to it, which is cool. So we will go ahead and do some nighttime driving and some nighttime filming. Well now, as you see, uh, we're outside in the dark and I still have uh, the one new headlight in on the passenger side. And there's definitely a difference. It's obviously much 
whiter, uh, much nicer uh, look to it. Um, again, no real blue, so that's awesome. Inside here, just pointing at the garage door, kind of give you guys a better idea. Uh, I don't know what that is, uh, and you'll see uh, in the next clip kind of the difference in how the headlights are aimed. I think it's something to do with my projector because it did that before I changed the, the bulb, so it's not the LED bulb. Uh, yeah, here we are going down the road, and you can see on that passenger side the, the distance um, is a little bit different. So. I need to adjust the, the bulbs uh, or the housings so that they're even. Now we're going for a quick drive and uh, I flip my fog lights on and off a couple times. Uh, they're off now, but I have both headlights in right now so you guys can see uh, how nice and white they are. Nice bright crisp uh, headlights. Um, I tried to do some filming with one of each headlights in. It didn't really come up on film, so I went ahead and swapped out both bulbs. Again, fog lights on and off just to, so you can kind of see the yellow of the halogen fog light bulbs there. And just really nice uh, light, re really good in my housings. There's my brights, the old halogen brights on, again, just for effect. And we're just going down uh, this road. There's no street lights, nice, uh, you know, woods on both sides give you guys kind of a idea of what they are. Really happy with the the bulbs so far. No interference noise on the radio um, from those little fans on the bulbs. Really happy about that, and just really kind of gave uh, a real updated look on the GX. I'm really happy, and hopefully we'll get uh, the fog light bulbs and those high beams switched over to a set of these LED bulbs in the near future. And here, another quick shot with both of the bulbs switched over to the new LEDs and it just looks really, really good in my opinion. Just like that, we're gonna wrap the video up. Hopefully you found that uh, entertaining and informational. Again, I did get these headlight bulbs sent to me by Bosla. They did not pay me to do any of this, but uh, sent me some bulbs so that's cool and I got to make a video out of it so I don't mind that at all. Of course as I continue to use the bulbs I will update you guys on anything um, good or bad that comes with it and uh, we may end up even if they continue to work out upgrading the um, high beams and my fog light bulbs too so they all match that would be that would be pretty neat. Uh, there is a link in the description down below that will take you over to Bosla um, and you guys can get your own set of headlight bulbs if you are so inclined. There's also a coupon code uh, down below, uh, so thank you for watching and taking part in that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do so. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, turn the notifications on so you'll uh, here every Sunday when I upload a video and as of right now um, every Wednesday when I'm uploading a mountain bike video uh, for the foreseeable future. Anyway, if you haven't checked out the back catalog of videos, be sure to do that as well. GX 470 stuff, the 4Runner build, uh, the 4th gen 4Runner build, the 3rd gen that I've been working on, and uh, the Jeep that I need to continue working on. Um, so there's that. Follow the links also down in the description over to Instagram and Facebook where I post much more often and uh, more frequently a lot more stuff than just bikes and cars so thank you for watching until the next video take care goodbye